Welcome to Flipping 50, where I address your tough questions and struggles. I share what to eat, how to move, and how to get the energy and vitality you want in the second and better half by flipping your thoughts. And I'm your host, Deborah Atkinson. And today, my guest is really a very spontaneous guest in the hall of a conference we're both attending. She's a very busy woman, a very, very busy practitioner for very good reason. And I'm so thrilled and excited to get her take on this in live presentations for the Bone Health course. I have shared some information about AlgaCal and about calcium supplements, and Terry is actually the prompt and the reason that I became aware of the tips that I do share. So I wanted to actually bring her on and have her be the person to deliver the message. So what I'm giving all of you here at the Flipping 50 podcast is the chance to see a little insider tip that's going inside the Bone Health mini course. So I'm including this raw podcast recording also in inside of the course because it's really the impetus and the update. So even though the course was published just um, less than a month ago at the point that I'm recording this right now, there's already an update. And so I want you to know that I plan to keep it rich and alive because that's really what's happening with science right now. We can't get stagnant. And and I think if you're a woman who's over 50, you realize that that in part is what we've done. We've grown up and we we kind of attached and we're holding on to those old ideas and thoughts because it's hard to give them up. You know, I call that habit gravity that it's logical, it makes perfect sense, but yet we just, that default of what we've always done and always believed is, is a heavy thing. And, you know, breaking those ties, even when you want to, (laughs) can be a challenge. So if we are very careful and going forward, we can grab a little bit more quickly onto newer science provided it's got enough foundation to stand on. So one single study of a very small group or one single expert telling someone, here's what worked for me, that may not be enough proof in my book to say, okay, I should do that too, right? But if we can look at studies that were done on women like you, very similar in status and demographic and we can look at it's been done over time with a large enough pool of people, then I think it's worth taking a look. And we're seeing some research now, enough coming back from some of the bone health drugs that, you know, 10 and between 10 and 15 years ago were kind of brand new and on the cutting edge. And it's not all good information. So what I'm giving you this is for you to be a critical thinker to evaluate what are you doing right now? What are your choices? And and know that you do have some. So I want to introduce you and I'm going to give you a disclaimer for my conversation here with Terry Cochran, who will explain to you all of the the alphabet soup, I call it, behind her. And um, what I really want to let you know is this is an expert and authority in health and wellness who's solving the tough cases, the ones that no one else can crack. That's what she's getting, and that's why she's so hard to get to. And I had to snag her from a break, and probably we both needed to get um, dehydrated and then hydrate again at this break. But I said, no, we need to do this. So there is a little background noise and that's my disclaimer. So you're going to hear that it's, there's a lot of people going on and this will be edited before you hear it. But my bet is that you're not going to get a a nice, clean sounding studio recorded, um, like this intro and outro. So I just want you to know, be easy on me. Give me a little get out of jail card because my feeling was it was important enough that you hear this information and a a really short, brief update and have one more guru maybe in your arsenal to reach out for. So Terry mentions um, a tip for travel 
and things that you want to have on hand if you're traveling. I am traveling at the end of this month as I record it, so I'm going to go get it. But here's my trust in Terry. I send my family members to her. Not only do I reach out on Messenger and say, hey, Terry, I have this going on with a client, which is, I think, nice for you to know if I'm working with you or in one, you're in one of my groups. This is a part of what networking does when you're really working with the right people and you know you can ask someone you trust just for what's the next thing that this client should look at? What, what do they need? I've got that kind of a resource for you. So like knowing that Terry's in my neighborhood and also, you know, you're going to get the links in flipping 50 forward slash podcast on today's show. You'll be able to get the link to her website. I'll put that in there and, you know, you can go and get those travel tips. I'll put another link in there to the supplement we talk about. And so everything will be right there. Without further ado, here is my conversation with Terry Cochran. So this is Deborah from Flipping 50, and I'm here with Terry Cochran, who is my guru. And Terry, I'm going to let them tell you the alpha, or let you tell them the alphabet soup behind your name and the why for listening to you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Deborah. Well, I am an integrative practitioner that intersects the genes of you with how foods uh, express our genes and then any other things that are happening in our life, like pathogens or stress or even physical trauma. And I know that you are the flipping famous fabulous over 50, 50 and over woman that keeps us young. And I have employed some of your brilliant techniques. And I have to tell you that I have benefited from them. But hormones, we do not have to be that air quote, well, you're over a certain age, so get over it. That is such a fallacy because we can be young eternally. And it's age is just a number and we can protect our hormones. We can protect the quality of our musculature. We can protect the quality of our bone health. We just have to know what we don't know and learn it and then employ it. Beautiful. Okay. Let's dive into that. So this is for the supplement to the bone health mini course. And you dropped a bomb on me and really kind of opened my eyes to new insight about AlgaCal. So letting me know, first of all, about that, tying it to, you know, that there is really no research that necessarily says if you take a calcium supplement, you have decreased your risk of osteoporosis or lowering your bone density. But AlgaCal is showing some different results. So talk to me a little bit about that. Sure. So the traditional pharmaceuticals that are out there like Fosamax and the other, there is actually an FDA black box warning label on these FDA approved pharmaceuticals saying you will grow bone, but it will be a an unhealthy bone. And one of the suppl- one of those pharmaceuticals actually has been shown to eat your jawbone. So really look into that, do your research. Not everyone will benefit. Again, it depends back to your genetics. If you have certain genetic polymorphisms, you may not be a good candidate for that Fosamax or that Beniva. Uh, Alternatively, what we're finding is everything coming from nature, algae and algae cal, because it's made from the sea, which is where the true minerals are, all that, all that which we need, that calcium, that phosphorus, that boron, and then stromium and the vitamin D combined with that really helps naturally to promote healthy bone growth. And one of the things that I think that women don't know about, which is such a kind of a, nobody talks about this, but is critical to our knowledge and maintaining that bone health is that when we are stressed and we push cortisol, which is our stress hormone, it leaches calcium from our bones. And so we can do everything else right and if we're a stress ball, mm-hmm. we're just going to throw that calcium onto our bones, from our bones onto our bones, and then we're going to have arthritis. We're going to potentially uh, have ligament laxity because the bones and the ligaments are no longer supple. We become fat malabsorbed because cortisol is also a hormone, um, which is fat soluble. Huge. So one of the things I want to mention, so on the AlgaCal, what, what really got me in First, the hook, you mentioned the original study in 2010, I believe it is, looked at 200 women, which is fairly significant, but they actually gained 
bone density. Yes. Okay. But even more exciting was the follow-up study, the seven-year longitudinal study said it didn't lose momentum. Exactly. And just for the record, I am not a, I, I am not affiliated with algae Cal. I just mm-hmm. use it in my practice because I've seen really good results from that. And another thing that I, I really like is um, I like hyaluronic acid. Um, if you don't have fat malabsorption, collagen can be really good, but hyaluronic acid really helps create buoyancy to that bursa, which then will help support uh, the bone strength as well. Okay. So one just follow up question for that. Mm-hmm. How might you know if you have fat malabsorption? That's a great question. So um, the easiest thing is look in your toilet. Um, If your stools are floating, if they're light. Um, Another thing is if you have struggled with acne um, as a postmenopausal or even an over 25-year-old woman, um, if you have bumps on the back of your arms, if you have scapula pain, which is referred pain from the gallbladder, if you have, uh, if you're fluffy, uh, what I talk about, and this is when the fat molecules from our digestive tract are not able to be digested and they get pushed into our lymphatic system. So those are all signs of not being able to properly or fully metabolize your fats. Super. Thanks for the clarification. Okay. And where could somebody find more Terry? Well, you can find me at terrycochran.com, T-E-R-I-C-O-C-H-R-A-N-E.com. And we have a wonderful fab, Terry's Fab Five for home and travel. So I really suggest that you look at that because it's something that uh, you don't want to be without when you're traveling and you definitely don't want to run out when you're at home. So I really, I really um, encourage you to look for that. Amazing. Thanks so much for your time. My pleasure. If you have a question that Terry and I didn't answer or that our short conversation really packed with some juicy little tips spurred any questions you have outside of the links that will be in the show notes that you can go and listen to, leave your additional questions below the show link at flipping50.com forward slash podcast. I love to hear from you. And if this episode was helpful and you have more questions on bone health, the link to the flipping50.com forward slash bone health mini class will be there. It is a part of the After 50 Fitness Formula for Women course. We added it as a freebie. The value is $49 on its own, or it went in to the other course as just an extra and a perk. So we want to keep adding value like that. So feel free to check that out if you're really interested in what else should you be aware of? What should you be doing for exercise today? What's the newest update? And what else do you need to know about nutrition in addition to supplements? To get the most from this week's podcast, just check out today's show notes at flipping50.com forward slash podcast, where you'll find the juicy free download and the resources mentioned on the show. Let's start flipping 50 together.